Hello, everyone. It is Mark Berman from TV Media Insights. It is Tuesday, April 29th, and I would like to welcome you back to our daily video cast. I am coming to you live from downtown Los Angeles, California, from the 2014 Cable Show, which is being held at the Los Angeles Convention Center. Right now, I am sitting in my hotel room, which happens to be the Sheridan. I wish I could turn around this laptop and show you what the streets of downtown LA look like, but I cannot, unfortunately, due to the lighting issue. But I will tell you this. If you have ever seen classic Alfred Hitchcock theatrical Psycho, you may recall that the opening scene featured a montage of the streets of downtown Phoenix, Arizona in 1960. Now, this is certainly more colorful, but it is reminiscent of what those streets look like. There are a lot of old buildings in this neighborhood. It's not the greatest environment, but it's certainly a cool place to be, and I am looking forward to more happenings at the Cable Show. Now, last night was the opening cocktail reception held by the Cable Show that was near the L.A. Convention Center, and following that, I went to a dinner hosted by Hallmark Channel featuring guest Catherine Bell, who will be starring in Hallmark's upcoming series, The Good Witch, which is based on the movie franchise of the same name. Hallmark always does a great job of hosting events like this when I am out of town, and I thank them very much for inviting me. Now let's talk about some current TV news. We will begin with an HBO sitcom that aired in 2005. You may recall it. It was called The Comeback. It featured Lisa Kudrow from Friends, after Friends, playing a character named Valerie Cherish, who was a D-level actress who was desperately in search of regaining her fame. It only lasted for 13 episodes, but it gained a cult following, and there are reports all out there that HBO will be reviving the comeback. It is apparently going to order six new episodes. Production is expected to begin on May 19th, and Lisa Kudrow will be returning, as well as a few of the support actors in and actresses in that show. Now, I wonder if the actor playing Valerie Cherish's husband is coming back. His name in the show was Mark Berman, and I had wondered at the time if that character was named after me. Probably not. He was Mark with a K. I am Mark with a C. But the good news is the comeback is returning. Six new episodes look like they are going to move forward. I happen to be a big fan of that series. Now let's head over to Fox. The network has announced that it will air a live version of classic the musical Grease in 2015, and this is a result, of course, of the success of The Sound of Music on NBC. There has been no casting announced or no specific air date at present, but my suggestion to play Sandy, who was played by Olivia Newton-John in the 1978 theatrical, would be Julianne Howe from Dancing with the Stars. I'm not sure who should step into the John Travolta role, and I'm not necessarily sure doing this is such a great idea to begin with, but because it is three hours, I assuming Fox is going to air it on Sunday. Sundance TV has issued a second season renewal for its second regularly scheduled series. It is a drama called The Red Road. And Ovation, which is described as a cable arts network, has ordered a new docuseries that will air this summer called Young Marvels. If you visit our website, I have more specifics for you on what that is all about. Ovation has also renewed a Young Doctor's Notebook and the Fashion Fund, which is a reality competition for a second season. In the world of digital programming, the growing world of digital programming, Yahoo is now getting into the act. They have announced they will launch two new full-length comedy series. Full-length means about 22 minutes. They are both sitcoms. They are called Outer Space and Sin City Saints. And I have more information for you in today's newsletter and at our website. If there is any growing trend this season, it is the rise of original programming on all these providers like Netflix, Microsoft, and now Yahoo. Today in TV history, let's go back to 1996. A cable network named TV Land launched, which means TV Land is turning 18. When TV Land originally aired, it was the home of classic series, a number of comedies and dramas. Well, TV Land over the years has produced a number of original series. It is now in the regularly scheduled sitcom business. That began when it launched Hot in Cleveland. There are several other comedies on the air at TV Land, and I wish them a very happy 
happy 18th birthday. Personally, I miss all those classic shows. There are still classic series airing on TV Land, but I miss a number of the shows that were airing back from the 19. 19- 50s. And I also miss, by the way, the TV Land Awards, which is the second year in a row that TV Land has not produced them. And that is our daily video cast from TV Media Insights from the cable show in downtown Los Angeles. I thank you very much for joining me, and I will be back with more news about my favorite medium, television, tomorrow. Have a great day.